<laughs> long it does as long as it doesn't build up a lot of a lot of friction in there and you know get well, it, that's get, why you grease hot. the ring before you put it in yeah you know, i i try to put as much grease on there as it could take and then go from there yeah i don't want to tell you folks it's grease something. it up <laughs> grease it up and drive it home that's what i say okay yeah frank go ahead oh yeah sorry yeah, we're playing D&D &D today. Uh, folks, well, welcome aboard. This is the, uh, what the hell is this? Oh, this is the Margu campaign, the tri-generational campaign. Thanks for joining us. Uh, if you're new, uh, yeah, this is about how it goes. So hang on to your ass. <laughs> Follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archives. We're going to shoot shit about D&D. &D. Join our Discord. If you want to buy cool crap like shirts or phone cases or shower curtains, the link is down there. Uh, most importantly, if you want to be on a one-shot, last night got canceled, but if you want to be on a one-shot or the Tuesday talk show, hit us up, mhobo Inc. Twitter, Gmail, we'll get you on there. If you're in the market for dice, and what self-respecting gamer isn't in the market for dice? Uh, check out on Twitter at Pirate Dog Dice. Uh, and if your game stinks, unlike this aromatic piece of sewage, uh, try some Adventure Sense by Oddfish Games, maker of over sixty different, uh, mostly classy scents, some eh, sketchy sets. Uh, they also make a shine system, so if you want to learn to write gooder than me, check out their shine system. And they are working on getting their Kickstarter uh, pushed out to everybody who funded it. Thank you. Uh, that being said, this is the Margu campaign B-side. Uh, let's introduce you to the guys who and lady uh, who are going to make you uh, laugh, cry, and mm. of course shake your head and think, isn't there anything else on? Uh, we will start with the Veteran, the senior, the patriarch of the family, Frank Senior. Who are you, and who are you playing today? I am a uh, Frank Senior, like I said, the old man of the group, and I am playing Leon. S I think Leon and the Barbarian. <laughs> Uh, next up is the youngest member of the Hobos. Who are you and who are you playing? Hi, I'm Sophia. Uh, I'm... <laughs> what are you playing? I'm a fallen Asmore warlock. What's his name? Beal. Or no. Beelzebub. Beelzebub. I you are the devil. I am Beal. I am and really. We... I am Beal. We all know I love the Azamar. Yeah, uh, next to her is her father and father of the second youngest member, uh, Frank, middle Frank. Who are you and who are you playing? I am playing Barnum and his merry band of freaks. Uh, I am playing a crazed old cleric who is so battle-worn with PTSD that he's not quite right in the head. Now, my family and following uh, fellow uh, players do not like my character. Frank loves my character. I love the character. I think this is the best character he's played so you far. You love him because you know sooner or later one of us is going to kill him. Or mm. vice versa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, chaos abounds. Next up is AJ. Alex, who are you and who are you playing? I am playing... My name is AJ, and I am playing Rolf, the greased-up mountain dwarf. Oh, wait, no, I'm the greased-up one playing Rolf, the mountain dwarf. No. Yeah, uh, the, one of the things that hasn't really come into play much is I forgot I am a haunted one. So uh, that's kind of floating around in my mind today, especially with Halloween last week. So we'll see what happens with that. Oh, I would say your roles are the haunted ones, actually. Uh, <laughs> yes, last indeed. but certainly not least, our formerly uh, youngest murder hobo. Now, just nothing. Just mm. nothing at all. Frank, no Gordon. title, no title, no nothing. Just, I'm just Frank, here. Who are you and who are you playing? I am Gornak, the mighty Leonon Barbarian, the man with a plan. He's got a javelin and a great axe and, a, and the will to do it all. It's just all around amazing man. Or Leon. Na, 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 na. <laughs> and which na, totem are you? Na, 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 na. Totem? I think it was the, the wild magic. Yeah. So we got two wild magic uh, kind of people here. Uh, folks, in case you're new to uh, this path, uh, the B side, 
they're all fourth level. They are playing a group of former caravan guards who uh, are now unemployed because uh, their former employer, Garnet uh, Inc., uh, has been bought out by just just jerks, uh, just jerks in the eyes of half of these guys. Now, the other half are just happy to retire and get on with their adventuring career, but half these guys are not thrilled that they got the old heave-ho. Uh, they have been tossed out of one city already, uh, and they opted to go ahead and investigate a set, set of caves said to be replete with serpents. So far, these guys have been up and down and around and okay. inverted and all sorts of things. I haven't found much in the way of serpents other than two serpent columns. Uh, these guys really got the shit kicked out of them by piercers. They have been underground for at least uh, God only knows how many days. Uh, it's all kind of posed together. Uh, we ended last week with them having a very easy time uh, with a wyvern uh, finding parts of two different merchant uh, wagons and uh, a little bit of a little bit of loot, a little bit of treasure, a little bit of some uh, stuff. So we little really just... little little bit of poison. <clears throat> small small poison. Uh, there, there was some punishing hits delivered. Uh, we rejoined these guys at I don't know, morning, noon, night, sometime. Okay. There's light, there's light filtering in from the far side of the cave. The dead wyvern is uh, oozing out blood and ichor everywhere. These guys are trying to clean their weapons. They're investigating the merchant wagons. They're in a huge cavern. Uh, folks, turn it over to you. What do you want to do? I'm gonna. I took a, a potion, a healing potion, but I'm gonna tell my cleric, crazy cleric, I'm poisoned. Can you help me out? Uh, I do not believe he can. Why would you Please take the poison? poison? Mm -hmm. My third poison. Nipple. I got nailed by that wyvern's tail. My uh, third nipple. It talks to me. Ah, that's weird. Okay. I guess we could. Hold on. Let me check. Let's see. Lesser restoration. <clears throat> uh, you do have it. Darn it. Yeah. Sorry there. I know you like the. Uh... Oh, he was wanting me to die. Yeah, I there. Not die. <laughs> Barely. I I cast Lester, Les, Le, Les, Lester, Chester the molester on you. I right. never met Lester. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Lester, right. Lester. Lester Barely. of restoration. Lester masturbation. <laughs> hey. Gee, who's the teenager here? Yeah, uh, teenager. Us, he said it. Yeah. I didn't say it. Yeah. I just laughed at. Hey, wait I'm a the minute. one that's Alex always been that one. It. He's the six-year-old that laughs at the penis. When joke. it started, uh, we were talking about wheel bearings on a Toyota pickup truck. Yeah, I don't know what you guys thought we were talking about. Me neither. I don't okay. know. Okay. All right. I, that, I was here, and I'm not sure what you were talking about. Yeah. Uh, well, I, we know me. that's why we were talking about it. You feel okay. the ill effects of the toxin leave your system. And a deep breath. You are not insane today. Okay. <clears throat> Good deal. Well, then it's time to search this cavern for loot. Uh, there are three beams of light coming down from the ceiling. Uh, there is a uh, water feature nearby uh, that is uh, filled with cloudy water, probably calcified. Uh, there is the way that you came. Or you can circumvent the lake, and hopefully you're close to getting the hell out of the Undermountain. But there's no more treasure to be found in this little... You, you have found everything that okay. I, I have put ahead of you. I believe there was quite a bit there, wasn't there? Uh, there, oh, yeah. was, there was a fabric and yeah. stuff. No. Uh, two broken mar or market wagons. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, 
and silversmith. Six equipment. bolts of cloth, a hundred gold pieces each, or yeah. more than that, and a chest bolted to a wagon. Yep, that contains four hundred gold pieces worth of silver and tools. And don't forget about all those gems that we pulled out of that rock wall. I already added those into my That's money. True. So I don't um, think I don't think I pulled any out. Where's that paper? You pulled two out, I believe. Yeah, I, pulled, I, I pulled one. Okay. I am flush with gems. I pulled out two, but they're pretty nice. What are the tools? I think Alex got the bulk of them, didn't you, Alex? Oh, yeah. I got 20 of them. Yeah. I, it, yeah. it was like a natural 21. 20 roll for yeah. once. Yeah. You had 21. She had 16. I had 11. I think Frank I had, had two. I had, I, had, yeah. I had 14. Oh, there you go. Uh, the Frankly. silver, they're, they're silversmith tools, silver fine smith. tools used in making jewelry. Okay, the tools are worth the 400 gold piece, or there's 400 gold piece worth of silver in there. 400 gold pieces of silver and silversmithing tools that you have well, no idea how valuable they are. Unless your guys are wanting to carry this chest out, I suggest we separate, sort the silver pieces out and split them up. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, there's five of us, so we each take 80. Woo! 80 gold pieces worth of silver? It's like 800 coins each. It's a lot, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, who has uh, crappy belts? You might be having your drawers tank the floor like you're some kind yeah. of hoodlum. You know, I don't think I want this stuff that bad. I'm going to know if I do. I'll Everybody roll a d20 if you're taking it. I ain't taking it. I have a backpack. I do too, but I ain't putting 800 pieces of silver in the damn thing. Yeah, I'm not putting 800 pieces of silver. How badly do we need this silver? We don't. I want four. You want the four. That sounds like uh, Barnum's taking it. Knock so, yourself out, Barnum. Was it just a straight up? Was it just a straight up twenty? Or you I got like sixteen. Uh oh, the dice slipped out of my hand, and I rolled an eight. I guess I'm carrying some too. I rolled a 16 <laughs> too, but I I don't I'm not taking any of the silver. You rolled a 17. Bill, what about you? 17. Okay. Uh, the only people that are having problems keeping their britches up is Barnum. Oh, good. Uh, Barnum will roll stealth at disadvantage. Clearly, I he, do. He's got britches that jingle, jangle, jingle. He's he's one of the little rascals when they found that. <laughs> you remember that one? Every step he takes, he finds another one. And they were <laughs> hiding, a hole in a pocket. hiding in that cave up overhead, and he kept dropping coins down out of his pants. Man. I think that was stymie, oh. stymie wasn't it? It was stymie. <laughs> we come to, everybody's carrying 80 pieces of <clears throat> uh, No, I'm not. Leon I didn't take it. I didn't take it. I'm Anybody not going to be hampered by this shit. Nope. Okay. Well, how much the tools weigh? Man, they're, they're like lockpick set size. No, I'll take the tools. How about the bolts of cloth? Nope. It's going to require two people to carry each bolt. Don't oh, want them. No way. I will. Can I like cut some cloth off and make a sure. scarf? Make yeah. a fashionable scarf? Sure. Ooh. So hey. Then I'll do that. Gornak, I like that idea. I may do that too. I'm going to make myself cut off enough to make myself a little cape. Uh, uh, that, or I can make a hajib. Is that what they're called? The one. Sure. Yeah. Uh, Gornak and Leon, D12, you're rolling against me. Hang on, I got fun. Eight. Hey, 12. Look at that. Uh, both of you can uh, have your pick of color. Had you lost to me, you would have grabbed the Tony the Tiger looking stuff because it's I... great. <laughs> Ooh, you mean it's Tiger Stripe? Yep. Shit, I'm taking that. Um, I'll take red. Hell yeah. Huh? Red. 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 Gornak red is there, looking is there any, for a bowl. Is there any yeah. black? Is there any black? Sure, I'll give you black. I'll take black. Okay. <clears throat> you guys have uh, sliced off a couple feet of fabric. You're feeling kind of classe. Uh, yeah, yeah. Again, hey, okay. you have the three beams of light. You have the big lake behind you. You have uh, you can move forward or you can 
Uh, let's go retreat. forward. Let's go forward. Let's keep going. No retreat. Yeah, we can't go back. I have this nice scarf and just horribly scratched up armor. No retreat. They slid down a mountain. What, to, what to, about what? It's still daylight, so we can move forward for a while, unless you guys want to rest here for a while. There is uh, some I'm, kind of daylight coming through those holes. Okay. Yeah. Are right, resting or moving? I would say let's move while we got. All right, let's go. Us where <clears throat> Moving on, boss. Uh, you go a few hundred feet and you notice that the wall starts closing in on you and the lake <laughs> starts closing in on you. So hey, don't say that to two crazy people. Damn. You are, you are in between uh, a small trail. Uh, I mean, it, it's not like you can touch either one, but okay. it's, you know, it, it's a couple of hallways wide, but you can tell you're stuck. Uh, as you get uh, going... Again, yeah, it's really hard to keep track down here uh, because, you know, now you've illuminated your torches, used your light spells. The light is well behind you. You have no idea what time it is. Everything is starting to become disoriented. Everybody feels like Barnum. Uh, and everybody give me perception check. Mm -hmm. 15. 15. Well, plus. Wait a minute. Hi, 19. I rolled a 19. Under pace. Uh, eight, 18. Well, but Everybody but Barnum uh, hears goblin-esque voices. Uh, Barnum clearly cannot hear shit because he's jingle, jangle, jingling. <laughs> Every step he takes, uh, those coins just rattle around. Uh, but the rest of you hear voices, and you've been on the trail long enough. You know those are goblins. Uh, you also notice a beam of light indicating what you believe to be a potential exit from the Ooh. mountain. So, but the light is there, and the voices are kind of there. So... You're going to have to be stealthy to get past these voices. <laughs> I can be, no, I, I can't stealth either. I'm wearing plate. Or you can send somebody up to take a look and see what the hell's going on. Go ahead, Gornak. Bill, go up there and see what's going on. I'll go up and, I'll go up and take a look, see. Of course you will. <laughs> Give me a stealth. He's so stealthy. Right, I'll take stealth. What is my stealth? Plus two. Uh, but wait, am I wearing my armor? Let me check. Yeah, is there I'm wearing a big red armor. D next to it? No. Okay, you're all right then. So what does it, is there like a disadvantage since I'm holding if, gold? If you see a uh, big red D next to it, then that means it's disadvantage. You roll twice, take the worst. Like okay. mine, I'm wearing half plate and it's a disadvantage stuff. Well, mine I'm doesn't say it's disadvantage, so I'm just rolling. Just roll. I rolled a nine anyways, so they're going to hear me. You're going to hear you. advantage in life, son. Mm -hmm. Everybody but Barnum hears the voices stop. Barnum still doesn't know. Uh, Gornak, as you round some rock features, you see several fires illuminated on the cave floor. Dancing, prancing around these flames are small goblinoid-esque creatures uh, that are now murmuring rather than talking. Are they still dancing, but they're murmuring while they dance? <laughs> no, they look like they're taking up positions. Uh, okay. I'll go. Okay. That's good to know. I'll go walk back around the corner and tell everybody what I have seen about as, the positions and that they're murmuring. As you skim the, the assembled group here in front, uh, you hear something. D12. Oh, uh, just straight up, I'm guessing. Yep. All Ten. right. Rocks. Ten. That's going to be hard to. I got a nine. That was great. <clears throat> Let's see if I hit you with the grenade. I knew it. I so, I thought it. It's the I holy it. hand grenade, Frankie. Yeah, yeah so I'm going to damn load. Now. Goblin engineers. This is going to be close. Uh, does a nine plus four hit you? <laughs> oh, I don't think it does. Uh, 23. 
uh, a crystal vial takes forward and splatters you with corrosive material, and it causes two d6 damage. A five and a one. You take six hit points of acid damage, Ow. and you hear <laughs> and here they come. <laughs> uh, Victory Gordat, screech. <laughs> Gordat comes tearing back around. You see this mist coming up off his formerly nice boots. Uh, and he says in his best uh, shaggy voice, goblins. Goblins. Everybody roll initiative. Where's your initiative at? Um, 19. There you go. Click it. 19. 19. All right. 13. 13. No, that's for you. Uh, for that you. was on I yours. rolled for you. you big old, roll big old me. eight. Yeah, I rolled for you. Well, eight, eight. Eight. I am all around. Eight. 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 18 for Beal. And for Barnum. 13. I rolled a seven. Mm. So we will start with nine. And Leon thinks a horde of goblins is rounding the corner. Um, define horde. Uh, I'm going to say seven. More I'm than gonna, two, less than a hundred. I'm going to attack. Sure. <sighs> and rage when I do. First one, natural 20. Second one's only a five. I uh, turn into a ghost when I lean back. I can't remember how much what I get here. Die plus five plus two. So eight and two is ten and five is fifteen. Damage. Hey, that was a plus seven, so that actually gave me a twelve on that one hit. How, does that hit him? Fifteen is your magic number. Okay, okay. I hit him once. Stop with that. Yeah, I just well, I gotta roll roll damage twice, right? No, because uh, they only have seven hit points. Oh, okay. Yeah, these are easy to kill, but there's a lot of them. Yeah. Uh, so you kill number one. Uh, next up is the 18, Beal. Beal! Ah! What are you doing? Ah! Don't do that noise. What's happening? Are you attacking? Are you, oh, you're, no. not, you're not paying attention. You're playing with I'm that paying dog. attention. What are you doing? I don't know what to do. <laughs> Turn Turn out. Out. Oh, I'm going to help. Uh, hey, kill oh, something. Leon. Him. Le what do you know how to pronounce? Oh, I, no, I don't know anymore. Oh, English oh, yeah, on the stream. Only the subtitles are in a different language. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so no Japanese, Michael, no Japanese dolls while we're playing this American game. What is now, he saying? I don't speak Taco now, Bell. Before Bill yeah. goes, everybody had one. This first wave also included a second one for Beal, a second one for Gornak. Mm. Oh, and there's oh, another one. wave of coming, by the way. Look at that. They aren't here yet. So they're on yours. So, Bill, so, you got two on you. Find Eldridge Best. I want to attack mine. Right there. Roll to hit. An Eldridge Blast. A 19. 19 hits? Hit. Yeah, it's a hit. 15 plus. Now, could she hit both the ones coming after her? Or not? She can it's cast long. twice. She cast it. She, I only think she gets. She only gets one attack per an action. Okay. <clears throat> I don't think she's she not up to win. two rays yet. Next level, she gets the second ray. Oh, okay. How much damage, Beal? Oh. Dead. Uh, the thirteens are up next. Barnum and Ralph. All right. If I'm close enough for melee, I'm hitting him with an axe. Oh, you are. Oh, and I am, and he has. One hit point remaining, six damage. I assume a 19 hits him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Gornak brought the horde. Uh, Barnum, what about you? You have alerted the horde. 
for the horde. <laughs> I, I'm going to. Uh... I'm I'm just gonna cast uh, Sacred Flame. Wah, wah. Nobody's hit you yet, so no problem there. No, nope. so let's. Uh, it's a, a dexterity saving roll. I doubt it. That's a single digit, and that's a three. <laughs> <laughs> and we're gonna do five points of damage. Still alive. Uh. Uh oh, Jongo. Nope, the eight beats me. Gornak, uh, the eight beats ah. the seven. You are up. I you have up. dose on you. Dosakis. I I I want to want to cast Eldritch Blast, but I'm not. It's not going to be useful. You're a so, bar, you're a barbarian. Get your ass in there and feel the rock. I will, but first. You know you've got sticking. wild magic. Yeah, I do have the Eldritch that. Blast might create a fireball, and you might be able. To yeah, but you cast wild magic. Hoping. You got to make the wild magic roll. Don't listen to Die the voice four. in the screen. Okay, bonus okay I want to do a daunting roar. Okay, yeah, that's a good one. Uh, there's two of them. I'll uh, roll for both of them. What's my save? Um, the DC of the save equals eight plus his proficiency bonus plus his Constitution modifier. Nine and 18 on the roll. So one will fail, one will pass. Okay. He, he shall pass. Uh, so uh, your roar echoes throughout the cavern, causing Frankie. one goblin to soil himself. Ah. Frankie, that, Frankie, that's a bonus action. Yeah, I know. That's, that's why attack. I was looking at it first. That's so why I'm rolling this. Attack. I did not hit him. It doesn't matter. Does, does that I rolled a 10. So. Was it a melee attack or was it a magic attack? It was a melee attack. Ah, boo. I know. You're, ah, you're, ah, you're ah, so ah, excited. On my Foiled. Own. Foiled again. Sorry, you uh, my dice. Seven is not going to hit Barnum. On Ralph. <laughs> Crick fail. He skids. You will have advantage on your next attack. Uh, Ooh. Gornak the Mighty, you see one running in fear. Uh, Beal 12 plus four is a 16. Flip it, young lady. What? I'm confused. Oh, you never cast, yeah, that hits because you need to cast Mage on them. Mm. He takes four hit points of damage and seven Ooh. Gornak. I think. 17 yep. plus 4, Gornak. They don't like you very much. I could tell. 7 damage as the scimitar Seven. scrapes across your spine. Seven. Uh, you know what? D12 against me. Let's see if that ascot of yours is oh. torn. Uh, oh, fun. man. No. What'd you roll? Okay. Seven. Let's see if I can roll better. Two. Right, it, it, at least Man. you are overly far away. You can probably go back for some more. I uh, will. Round two begins. There are one, two, three, hey. four of the original and eight more coming at you. The whole you didn't attack me. None were at you. I only mm -hmm. have one on me. You only I had one. Yours. Okay, thank you. You had one. Uh, Beal had one, or Beal had two. One of them is dead. I had one. Okay. Yeah, I'm, not I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. Sounds like he's bitching. <laughs> yeah, I think the no. next the next horde's coming after him. Uh, they're all marked L's, so I think that's the case. Bring uh, bitches on. Round two. Uh, Leon, you have two from this group. All right. Barnum, you have two from this group. Beal, you have one. Ralph, you have one. And Gornak, you have one. From the second group, not including the first. So, uh, Leon, you have two charging at you. I want to attack both of them. Okay. 15 to hit, seven to kill. 18. <clears throat> well, actually, plus two, that's a dirty 20. And a 19 plus two, 21. Solid hit. Um, eight, two, ten, and five is fifteen points. One dead. 
And the next one is four and five and two. It's 11 two, points. Two dead. I mean, you guys are, you know, fourth level, so these guys we're, shouldn't cause much. And basically, we're fighting little little spider monkeys. Yeah, like, like <laughs> ralph size creatures. Uh, the 18 is up. <laughs> these guys are huge. Beal, you've <laughs> yeah. got... Dosekis on you. One from the first, one from the second. Right. I oh. want to cast Mage Armor. Okay. <laughs> she but learns honey, quickly. You, you got it. You don't really have to. Yeah. You, you're just bumped up from automatically. Um, 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 oh, no, 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 no. The 13s are up. Uh, Barnum and Ralph. Yes, Aquaman is somewhere in here. <laughs> you're 15. <laughs> I'm going right. to attack. And now one. remember, remember, the original one landed at your feet. You have advantage on him, but you do have a second one coming. Yes. Uh, uh, hold on. Let me give me one second. I... And you know I'm going to bite you in the foot if you don't get the guy at your feet. This poison. I'm going to do too. an action surge, which I can do one additional action for a short rest. So I'm going to attack the guy at the feet first, okay. and then do my action surge and attack the new one that's coming. That works. Move me closer. Yeah. All right. The guy at the feet, I uh, get him with an 18 with my axe. He had one hit point six left. Six damage. Yep, he's gone. Yep. The other one. Uh, I don't think what is it 13? Mm. I don't think that's enough to hit it. 13 is not enough. Ooh. Barnum, a flurry of blows from Ralph yields one dead goblin. All right, I'm attacking two weapons. Whoosh. You have Barnum one, Barnum two, Barnum three. You have three goblins on you, one is pretty banged up. All right, I'm going to hit one and two. <clears throat> okay. Miss. And second attack. That's 25, so I'm going to say that's a hit. That's a hit. So number two received eight points of damage. Dead. Uh, eight, Gornak the Mighty. Mm. You have one, one fleeing... One alive, two alive, three alive. They love you. You are their favorite frosted flake. I have an idea. This will probably work. They're all in melee range. All of them or two of them? One in front, one on a side, one on a side. You are surrounded by goblins. Perfect. I'm going to take my axe and do a spin motion and try and hit all of them. Spin Please the be a one. Please, for the love of God, uh, Let's be a one. see. I'm going to touch this die. It's the dice tower. That was a nine plus a five. I don't... That's 14? Did, does, does, does they 14? duck. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's, that's the good... That's, all right. As, as you pirouette they duck. Should have used magic, I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm gonna Let's not... try to lead them down that path. You know what? I think I will. Next Mer round. Mer Mer merely is... offering options here. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's three to one. Uh, is that your only attack? That's all I could do. I, I swung my axe. And that you don't was have two attacks? You only got one attack? No, I only got one attack. Bardo! Uh, 11 plus 4, 15? Nope. 18 to hit. Gornak, one fled. Beal. Yeah. 15 plus 4, 19. Oh, definitely. You got hit. Again. Or three oh. hit points hit of points. damage. Click over to Beal and do your damage. Gornak, they pop up like whack a mole. 11 plus 4 is a 15. Uh, 15 does not hit. Beal, again. You're getting attacked again. Four plus four is eight. Rolf, 
The dwarf. You're 15, not 12. 18 plus 4 is 22. Yep. Because you're on. Take five hit points. Ouch. Gornak the Mighty. Me. 10 plus 4 is 14. Nope. Gornak the Mighty. Four plus four is eight. And Barnum. 19 plus four. It's time to roll on the crazy cleric. Uh, you take four hit points of damage. All right. Crazy cleric here. Let's... Crazy cleric here. We're having all the crazy deals. That was loud. D20. Hold on. And and don't tell anybody. <laughs> no. Okay. So the chart, I rolled odd, so I'm rolling on the chart. All right. Here we go. I rolled a 17. <laughs> what are you chuckling about? Oh, wow. <laughs> A new round and three more creatures appear. Uh, these guys look different from the standard ones, uh, aka boss level. Uh, the first one. Man, he finished off the non boss levels. Ralph. Barnum. Yeah. Ralph. Damn it. <laughs> the dice giveth and the dice taketh away. They're doing Leon, a lot of taking away. You know. Leon Sphinx. Uh, give me What's, a perception check. Uh, seven, three, 14. Uh, you notice your associate Barnum. Scratching. Scratching. Uh, there are a plethora of opponents to choose from. Everybody has a couple on them, but you, uh, you are being largely ignored. Uh, are all of them the standard size goblins? There are three boss like. Uh, two are on uh, Rolf, one is on Barman. Uh, I'll jump on are... the two on Ralph. Okay. Am I coming from their backside? Uh, yeah, that was weird. I want to be their back door man. Nope, you're coming from their left side. All right. According to the dice. Ooh. That was a 15. 15 does hit. And that is a. Well, hang, hang, hang on. Hang on a second. I, I, I misspoke. It's the axe is plus seven, not a plus two. So it's not a 15. It is a. A dirty 20. Okay, yes, you will hit any of them. And a three. 20 and a 23. I'm uh, sorry. Your, your first attack. What are you doing? You are targeting the same creature. Okay. Okie dokie. Well, what's going on there? Oh, that's 15. And that is only seven and two is nine. 15, <clears throat> nine, 24 points. That is enough to kill it um, yep that is enough to kill it uh, okay that's just that's just bad that's wrong I had to count man not you him 18 Beal yeah um, one second I want to do I want to use my eldritch eldritch blast on one of the ones on me give me a eldritch. perception check okay Whatever that is. Perception. Are you a bunny rabbit? Natural 20. Uh, you can hear a guttural bark coming from one of your associates as you zero in on Eldridge blasting one of these creatures. You have two. Two creatures on you. Okay. Yes. <clears throat> so, go ahead and hit it. Okay. You're going after the new one. Okay. Oh, God. I rolled a 10. Oh, okay. Well, that could be a lot. Almost fumbled. Almost fumbled it. 
The 13s, uh, Ralph, you hear uh, as your crazy cleric starts sniffing around for something. Uh, and he mm -hmm. is all kinds of that shit crazy now. So, Barnum uh, and Ralph. You don't hear how. You hear a dot. <laughs> Kill him. I don't know about that, but I think I've still oh. got one of those little uh, minions on me, right? You have a boss-like minion on you. One uh, boss, one little one. Uh, I think I I got to go for the little one still, because I think he was from round two, or wave two, I should say. He is. Uh, I'm going to attack him with the great axe. Oh, baby, yes. I hit him with my great axe for seven damage, which I hope is enough to kill him. Just barely. Yes. Uh, you, you nick that carotid and the blood, blood spews everywhere. Roger Rabbit, you're up next. I think the point here is, Ralph, that's not really a great axe. It's, it's an okay axe. Okay, uh, yes. <laughs> so, uh, get the That'll be appearing done. in my nightmares for the rest of my life. Oh. I am oh. going to do an unarm attack and jump and try to bite the goblin in front of me. An unarmed strike. Sure. An unarmed strike. Are you going after the one that's already wounded? Yes. Or one of the okay. But I missed. I only rolled an eight. Or ten. Uh, Gornak the Mighty. Things are getting a little bit hairy here in Fight Town. Mm -hmm. Are my goblins still looking at me? In my eyes? Uh, yeah, you still got uh, one, two, three on you. Well, you know what? I am going to shoot an Eldritch Blast at them. D4 against me. Let's just <laughs> Boy, we got an emergency here. I just dropped a D4 on the floor. Oh, God. You're going to stab your foot. That's, That's like easy. stepping on a Lego. <laughs> it's even worse. Than oh, this man. One. Worse. It's like the one scene from Home Alone where he steps on the nail. They're like That's a right. cow, cow throb. Yeah. I'll go with the other D4. Uh, I got it. four. Okay. No wild magic. Oh, oh, I was hoping for it. Uh, we're all disappointed. And 14. Didn't even hit. Yeah, I'm just glad the damn thing matches the floor. <laughs> I am never going to find that till I step on it. Uh, that brings us to the end of you guys. Barnum. Okay. 16 plus 4, dirty 20. That's a hit. Seven damage. Damn. Beal. Yeah. Lick your wound, puppy. Lick your oh, wound. Come on. 13 plus 4, 17. That's a hit. That's a hit. Four damage. Hey, nice. Frank, I think Barnum needs to know where you hit him so he can lick his wound. <laughs> right in the ear. Uh, Gornak. Two. Beal. Seven plus four. Gornak. Eight plus four, Gornak. Gornak. Fifteen plus four, nineteen. Ow. Uh, five damage. Barnum. Eleven plus four, fifteen. Nope, that's a miss. Uh, Barnum. Uh, one of the bigger goblins pulls forth a flask and goes. <laughs> Pulls off the cork and throws it at you. With a two, it sails high. Uh, lucky you. Damn. Rolf, uh, the boss, swings. Duck, Ralph. Misses. <laughs> oh, tries to get you on the rebound. And this is again. Round lucky. four or five. Uh, Leon. I'll attack the other the other big one. Okay. The one on... Ralph. Uh, okay. 
Oh, a natural 20 on my first roll. Nice. And my investigation One. skills are perfect. And a 25 on the second. Okay. So that's seven. And three is 10 plus four is 14. And five is 19 points on the first hit. Okay. Still alive. Five, nine, and two is 11 on the second hit. Ralph, looks like you're going to be buying Leon some uh, beverages because that is enough to knock down the big bad guy. Uh, 18, Beal. Uh, Beal, you still got two on you. Oh my God. And you still have the batshit crazy cleric howling at the moon. If it make me think of Nickelback every time you say that. I'm I'm not familiar with Nickelback, so you know they got <laughs> one song about burning something, and that's yeah, we don't believe you. Oh, so yeah. they're 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 a band, okay? <laughs> no, it's a guy who melted nickels. Do we really want to call them a band? He's talking about whiskey and that shit make him batshit crazy. It's a guy whose spinal column is made out of him. What are you gonna do? Okay, I'm gonna do Eldritch Blast on. How many does she have in front of her? I think of two. Two? No seconds. Okay. I'm going to use an Eldritch Blast real quick. And 16. 16. That's a that hit. Do, do some damage. Damage. This isn't going to be good. Oh, that's perfect. Whoa. Ooh. Max damage, 15. Dead. Uh, Beal <laughs> kills their first wave. Uh, 13s, Rolf and Barnum. Barnum's getting pissed. And itchy. Itchy. Teeth. Oh. I don't know what to do now. Is yeah. there anybody near me that I can get whacked with an axe? Uh, there's that crazy one on Barnum. Or Gar Gornak has three. <laughs> Gornak's I better help three. Gornak. Because I'm not sure the crazy one on Barnum is not Barnum himself, Mr. Rabbit. Yeah, good point Bar there. Barnum also has three. I'll help Gornak on this one. Yeah. Uh, I don't think Gornak's done a scare one of them. 22 to hit. Yeah, that's about it. I that is. Yet. 12 damage. Gornak, ah. you've finally gotten some help. What do you want to do? I'm going to try and hit not him, not Ralph. I'll try not to. I didn't think you were going to try to hit me until you said that. So if you roll yeah. a one, I know you're coming after me. All right. <laughs> it might be that way. I still didn't hit him. Nope. What's your plus on your weapon? Five. And you still, so all you got to roll is a ten or above, and you can't even do that. No. <laughs> I'm very sad for you, grandson. I think it's genetic. Uh, Barnum. <laughs> Damn. I'll tell you. Damn. Uh, uh, I just yeah. rolled another. Quick I'm, call, dead. I'm casting. Uh, I just rolled 35s in a row. That, uh, that one threw something at me laughing. There's only room enough for this town for one crazy. Uh, Barnum, eight plus four is 12. I assume that's a miss. Oh, do I? I didn't go. Oh, go ahead. I'm sorry. 23 to hit. Yep. On the crazy, he has 11 points necrotic damage. He's alive. <laughs> <laughs> so the melee guy got you for 12. That's a miss, correct? Yeah. Okay. Uh, that is the only one left from the first wave. Beal. 18 to hit me. 14 plus 4 is 18. Beal. Beal. 18 hitter. Oh, yeah. 15 per number. Four more damage. Dang, Beal. I'm going to spend all my time healing you again. Gornak. Or you can heal me. That'd be nice. Seven. Gornak. 15 plus four, 19. Nope, doesn't hit. Nope, right. I've decided now. That is a murder hobo con. Uh, oh, so that's eight damage right there. Ooh. Ooh. Barnum. I'm in pain. 
currently. 16 exactly. plus four, dirty 20. That's a hit. Uh, that is five more damage. Damn it. Uh, Barnum, uh, who was helping you? Who, no who, one. Who Ralph. Hit? Nope, nope. Ralph is helping Gornak. Nobody's oh, Gornak. Oh, Gornak. Yeah, nobody's helping Barnum. I'm sorry. I'm on my own. Uh, Leon, you've been strangely unaffected. Uh, the thing laughs maniacally and whizzes a small ceramic pot at you. Uh, oh, only plus one. 17 hit you? Uh, it would, but I'm going to block it with my tail. Well, block it with your tail. I see where this is going now. I got to see what I got to roll and block it with my tail. It's going to shatter on your tail. <clears throat> or he's going to flick it over towards one of you. Hey, exactly. it goes where it goes, man. Either it breaks on him or it breaks on one of us. Don't worry, it's, it's only it's, a phosphorus it's, pot. Hmm. All right. I love to Okay, so I got to do is, well, it, 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 it'll just make him oh. miss me. Okay. It says roll a die eight, apply a bonus to your armor class equal number roll. So my armor class is now 20. Okay, so uh, it flicks away. Roll a straight up d20. One, two, or three. Uh, it's going to go for somebody. Straight up die 20. Two. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Boy, you're rolling like your grandson there, Pop. No, you know what happened? I rolled it and it rolled up into my sleeve. When I shook it out, it was a two. D4. Me? Three. Oh, you One, are. One, two, three. Ralph, a ceramic pot comes flying at your head and misses. It shatters in the lake, and the lake is now a little bit on fire. Uh, <laughs> ah! so, for you, and that is the end of the round. That almost burnt my cape. That would have really... Oh, that would have been a shame. The real oh, crying okay. shame now that my scarf's in half. Leon, we have I'm missing my style. Oh, yeah. Two on Barnum. You have a boss. Gornak has. I'm going to attack two. the boss. It's on me. Okay, go ahead. First attack. That is a nine and seven, 16. Yep. It gets, still gets the boss. It, it only needs a 14 to hit. Uh, a dirty 20 on the second attack. Dirty nope. 20. So uh, 9 and 5, 14, and 6, 5, 11, and 2 is 13, 27. Dead. Veal, are you still alive? <laughs> Barely, I think. Uh, she's alive enough. I'm not casting heal on her yet. Uh, Ruth, um... You got more hit points than AJ. I wouldn't worry about it. <laughs> still. Everybody, Everybody has more Everybody hit points. Has. <laughs> <laughs> She's half dead and she's still got more points. AJ was <laughs> under the impression that this was a level two build. Apparently. <laughs> Go ahead, Beal. Uh, how many do I have on me? You have one right now. Kill it. Kill it. I want to use my Eldritch just, Flash just on Just do it. it. Just do it. That's not Eldritch Flash. Kill, kill, kill. Eldritch Flash. Oh. 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 Ah. Natural 20. She rolled a natural 20. Aha. Nice. So I want you to roll. Oh, this. my. Oh, it should do it for you. Me, oh, my. Come, Come on, on. Bill. 16. No, 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 That's 11. Now roll it again. Roll, roll this again. 11. What? So 11 plus, oh, no, 16 plus your five is what you... Mm. Stop making things confusing. No, I'm confused. Uh, 11 plus 10 is what it is. 20, 21. It's 21. I was looking at it wrong. I'm sorry. And he had seven hit points, so he's dead. Uh, the 13s, Beal, or Barnum and Ralph. Uh, what do we got here? We got uh, Barnum has two. 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 Gornak has two. But do I? Barnum has one from the first wave. This guy is very nimble. Let's see what I can do with this now. All right. Coming in. Coming in with the hell yeah. Sorry. You gonna bite him? I'm gonna he, he drink his, out of cheese. 
Going to drink his cheese afterwards. There's one hit, 24. No, nine hit. No, okay. Like father, like son. So the first waiver, the number one, received 13 points of damage. Well, he already had five, so you have successfully killed him. Right? Ah! <laughs> got I'm going to attack one of the ones on Gornak again. Okay. Both uninjured. Uh, 17 to hit. Good. Yep. Three damage. Wow. Oh. Gornak the Mighty, there are still two on you, despite the best efforts of you and your associates' melee abilities. I'll try again. Let's see. I've or, I wanted to enter a rage, so I've done that. Sure. So now I get an advantage on strength checks and throws and plus two melee damage if I ever hit something. I, I'm voting on hitting AJ. I hit something. I hit one of the goblin people. I don't know. Oh, okay. 17, finally. Well, usually the kind of person with your possessions. <laughs> Alexa went off. <laughs> That's weird. I didn't even. She's listening. Jeffrey, Jeffrey Bezos is listening right now. How much damage did, did you do, or should I ask Amazon? Uh, you could I'd ask her. I did eight damage with the plus two. That is enough because you have attacked the same one that Ralph uh, attacked. Uh, there are two left: Barnum and Gornak. Barnum. Whenever I hit, I guess it's just the killing strike because I'm so four strong. Four plus four. That's an eight. That's a miss. Gornak. That is a three plus four. That is a seven. Leon. Round six for a bunch of dirty goblins. You guys suck. Uh, there are two left. One on Gornak, one on Barnum. You're muted there, Leon Sphincter. <laughs> um, I'm attacking the one on Barnum. Okay. Hit with the first one, missed with the second. Uh, 11 2, 13 points. Yeah. 13 is good enough to put it down. Uh, Beal, yeah. there is a single one left that you know of, and it is on Gornak. Okay, I'm going to help him. I'm going to try to. Are you sure? <laughs> you, you could loot the bodies. That, you know, that's an action. <laughs> Okay, I want to. I want to use an eldritch blast on the one by Gornak. Please be a one. <laughs> no, no. It is, I'm gonna, if it is, it's I'm going to try. It's two ones. It's an eleven. It's an eighteen. Eighteen's good enough. How much damage? <laughs> Max fifteen. Fifteen. Uh, the mystical arts are enough to power a tunnel through this thing's chest. And it falls to the ground in an irregular form. Horror draped across its face. Probably saw Gornak naked or something. Uh, the <laughs> yeah, horde that probably. you know of is dispersed. Gornak, because I love to do this, intelligence check. <laughs> you <laughs> suck. Oh, it's been a while. <laughs> I'll have you know my intelligence is plus zero. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Quite, quite an improvement. So you're 18 old. on the roll, straight up. Hmm. One of those fled. I'll go. I'll tell the rest that one of them ran away, and I'll, then I'll go jogging well, down. He's going to run what? into the darkness on his own. <laughs> he can see in the dark. Yep, I can. Is anybody following Gornak? I will. No. I think I smell something on one of them. I'm going to jump down. So who was the other one that's going with Gornak? Okay. <clears throat> Gornak takes off willy-nilly, runs into the main encampment where there are several fires that he saw before. Give me a give me an investigation check, Gornak. Investigation. Let's do that. Five. You see two humans beaten to a bloody pulp and tied down to huge rocks. Leon, as you come around the corner, give me an investigation check, please. They seem like they had a fun time. 18. You notice a small kind of rock jettying out into that lake. 
Atop it are three figures. One small one, one half elf, and one human. Uh, the goblin has a dagger to the inside leg of Ooh. the human and threatens to cut its heart out unless you back off. Who cares? <laughs> okay. <laughs> we have no feelings. Yeah, like I give a shit. Yeah. I'm going to charge him. I'm for that. Yeah, yeah. Let's, we're we both have... going to charge him at the same time. Do Gordak, you don't see him. Oh, I don't see him? Ah. I'm, I'm charging. Have, give me an insight check. Okay. Hurry up. Yeah, I'm up plus. Plus three. Three and 17. Dirty 20. Uh, the precipice is narrow, appears fragile, uh, and these two dudes look like merchants. Hmm. I'm going to put my battle axe, sling it, and pull out my longbow. He's, he's kind of hiding behind him, so it'll be a little yeah. bit tougher to hit him. So if I miss... So what? I hit a human. Do, do the RoboCop and shoot right in between the legs of the road okay. of one of the merchants. Yeah. Also, I'm gonna, also I'm gonna take a shot at him. Just don't miss. Yeah, I got a plus four. Probably caravan merchants at that. Let me roll for you. Twelve and four, sixteen hit him. Sixteen does not hit him. Uh, D twelve against me to see if you hit one of the merchants. Okay. I don't really care if I do. Well, uh, six. Yeah, you got the merchant right in his heart. Uh, how much damage? Uh, what is that? Die eight plus two? Plus two, so it'd be ten. Ten points. The merchant falls over and a loud splash is heard. The goblin has a look of shock on his face and drops his weapon and yells, Briark! Uh, Gurnak! Uh, you see two humans. Give me an insight check. I don't speak <laughs> stupid. <No. laughs> and then hit them on the head. So you're gonna just kill these guys? I don't like your cat around these parts. No, they're they're like they're the Americans tied up, would do. Frankie, they're tied up. Oh, who? The <laughs> humans. I wasn't paying attention. You oh, need well, to. You now, need now to attack them. <laughs> Okay. Hey, yeah, yeah. you heard him. He killed him. Yep. Yeah. Two, two dead guards, one dead <laughs> merchant. Uh, Ralph, Perfect. Uh, Beal, and Barnum uh, roll it a uh, percentile die. It's all going according to plan. 45%. I'm going to stay muted so I don't say anything other. 46. <laughs> You one upper and Beal roll percentile dice. Oh, just click here, just hit here, hit here, look over there. 71. 71. Your percentile dice is the amount of gold coins you recover. Uh, Barnum d12 against me, Barnum eight. What was it again? D12. D12. I know. 10. The nose does not fail you as you pull out a piece of cheesecloth uh, encasing a piece of smelly Roquefort cheese. <laughs> Back in the main section, uh, Leon, Briark, yes. Briark. Uh, the half elven merchant is looking at you and screams, What in the hell are you doing? Now I'm going to shoot the goblin. Okay. The unarmed goblin. Nice. Uh, I don't give a shit. That's a 17. Yep, that gets him. It's his fault for being there. Well, for trying to tell me what to do. 8, 5, 13. Oh, yeah. Uh, the, it goes right through the front of his throat and lodges in. He tumbles backwards, uh, odd even, lands right on the dead merchant floating in the water. 
Blunk, uh, the bound half elven merchant. is stunned. Gornak, at this point in time, uh, your rage dies down and you realize, ooh, uh, give me an insight check. Let me see, insight, plus two. Plus two means nothing, we still got an eight. You do not recognize Gary or Larry, caravan guards. Mm. But your rage diminishes. Uh, Barnum, Beal, oh. Ralph, uh, you guys are flush with coin now. Uh, you look around. Where are the other two idiots went? <laughs> That's my question. What would you guys like to do? Uh, you assume they have run around the corner. There's also a faint light ahead of you. I'm ready to get the hell out of here. I'm ready to get the hell out of here. Let's. I want to venture towards that light. It could be a trap. Are you guys coming with me or what? It could be a trap. I'm not, I'm not hearing them following you. I'm thinking you're solo. Come on, guys. Come on. Let's go. Let's get out of here while we're still Where's alive. the other two? Yeah. One of those other two hits really well is what I'm saying. Yes, I know. Let's go yep. find Leon and, uh, you know, if Gornak shows up. What about me? As you go around the corner, you three notice Gornak uh, has killed two individuals tied down to rocks. Uh, Perfect. There is a single individual on a rock outcropping hanging over the lake, and Leon may or may not be advancing slowly on this individual. There is lights from several fires here. This looks like the goblin encampment. I'm ignoring the half elf and just looking around. Okay. Do we see any other threats in the area? Nope. You're a dwarf. That half elf's probably a threat to you. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. I guess should we loot the campsite? See if there's anything? Yes. Take it all. I'm not taking most of it because we're already weighed down with a whole bunch of other treasures. We I are. to be something really special like a mermaid dagger or something like that before I'm going to Oh, uh, the dice. Mermaid daggers are a myth. Uh, you uh, notice that uh, some of the made up by the government have a severed hand, indicating these guys are the severed hand clan. Uh, there's also a variety of items. Everybody roll a straight up d20. Uh, 17. 12. Gornak, Barnum, and Beal. Ten. You don't have so much for that. Just hit it. We're rolling die twelves. Twenty. No, twenty. Oh, okay. Just you. Well, you so can well roll a die twelve. It ain't gonna you make. You can roll a die twelve. Yeah, it's yeah. not gonna make You you roll whatever your attention tells you you should. Nineteen. I rolled a nineteen. I got an eighteen. Ooh, nice. Uh, Gornak and Beal. Uh, Gornak, you got the higher roll. Give me a percentage roll. Percentage. Uh, is that the two? Yes, that's the two dice you're looking at. All right. Two ten-sided dice makes a percentage roll. I got 20. <laughs> Out of all that points, you get 20. <laughs> that's his, That's about average for him. I Out hate my hands. 20. Can I get Out rid of, of my... <laughs> can I get... Can, I, I'm just... From now on, you guys are rolling for me. Hey, why don't we give Gornak a chance? We'll let him roll his attack dice with a 100% dice. Yeah, he'd still hit one of you guys. Uh, Gornak, you managed to find 15 coins. Beal, you managed to find 60 coins, uh, both of the gold variety. The rest of you find a variety of items, uh, merchant material, shit like that, a couple of bottles of wine. Uh, you estimate the haul to be worth 400 gold pieces, although it is going to be a little bit on the encumbering side. You also notice, in spite of this place being clearly a goblin encampment, fresh air abounds here, probably coming from that orange light. 
Well, isn't there a half elf sitting here? Yeah, he's just puzzled. Well, it's time to talk to him. Did you get that message? I, I, I'm going to ask him how he came about get captured by these goblins. Let's see how he likes you. I don't. He does not. So he asks oh, okay. you uh, if I give you the wrong answer, are you going to shoot me in the junk too? No, I will probably use my axe and cut your head off. <laughs> Either way, I will be just as dead. And here I thought you were liberators. Instead, ah. you are just common criminals. We're here to liberate you from your earthly form. Stop trying to pick my we're, here, we're here to liberate you from your goods. He's, he's still tied up, so there's not a whole lot he can do. We're here to liberate you from your goods, everyone. so hand him over. I'm going to go over and cut his bonds and go... Do you have cheese? Do I look French? <laughs> no. They took my cheese. Ah. Oh, really? It Who smells like cheese? you found my cheese. Could you cut Very me awesome. cheese? <laughs> yes, sir. I <laughs> did. That's what you smell. You know what? On Thursday, I, I had a blimp blow up on the players, and I got to say there was a reporter nearby that said, oh, the nomanity. <laughs> <laughs> Much to the chagrin of the wife, who was one of the party members. But I like that joke. <laughs> that was a good one. I'm going to cut his bonds. Okay. Ask him if he knows the way out. Uh, yeah, it's right over there. Looks like uh, the daylight is dimming. And I assume that that right over there is not the way we came in, so... Not even close. Uh, Perfect. Let's get the hell Barnum, out of here. He likes you, and he says, if you will get me back to Yince, I will reward you. If I get some Swiss cheese or career, I'm going to be pissed. Well, I, I'm, heading me, towards, uh, I'm heading towards the exit. Uh, <laughs> as you guys head out to the orange uh, light... Uh, the light in the west is dimming. Clearly, it's it's about to get dark. Uh, Leon, Ralph, investigation checks. All right, he muted. Oh boy, Leon oh, muted. Thirty twenty. Sixteen. Uh, Leon, you see a settlement a couple miles away uh, from this vantage point. You guys are high up on a mountain. Um, you have discovered, uh, you can see the trail that rings being caravan guards. You recognize this as part of your route. Ralph, however, knows that's Yince, uh, a populated town on the Garnet Circuit. Well, that's where I need to go. But you didn't come out here to look at it. Uh, it is starting to get dark, and, and there's woods between you and Yince. You may attempt to move through the woods at night or camp here in the fresh air and go in the morning. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think I let's think move a little bit away from where we're at right now. Yeah. So anything that's coming or going won't see us. Sure. Get off the let's trail. camp for the night. You don't want to camp at the mouth of the cave? Get that fresh uh, air? <laughs> Come on along. Uh, the fresh air is everywhere out here, right? We're in the fresh air. We are You're fresh in air. the cave, aren't you? No, oh, I thought we were moving towards the I thought fresh we air. came out. Oh, okay, you came out. Okay, yeah, uh, the trail's not uh, hospitable. Who wants to roll for survival? Uh, I will. Okay. Plus three. Plus two. A dirty 20. Yeah, you find a small spot on this the is ledge. this this is the one time, the one time. Oh, this entire man. week I roll the natural 20. For what? <laughs> For survival. Oh, you died. Uh, <laughs> you okay. uh you uh took a took a constitutional break and you used leaves that you thought were oak and they were not. <laughs> <laughs> you found the trove of holly berries. Uh, so you guys uh, have found a suitable wedge. I'm going to need three of you uh, to take watch. 
Who I'll is hurt? I, I've got some damage to sleep off. Who else? I do. Sophie's got seven. She's only got 17 hit points. Okay, she is like rest. way down. Hey, uh, wow. AJ, how many hit points you got? She I'm, actually has less than me. I have 26. I, I'm cleared down to... Oh, you're I'm almost full health. I am I'm almost full health, yes. I'm, I'm cleared down. 20. To, I want a long rest. I'm down to half. I got 21. No, I got 30. I still need uh, three of you. I got no, like, but I'll take a watch. I'll take, I'll a take watch. one. Leon. <laughs> yep. First part of the night passes uneventfully. Good. Barnum. Barnum. The middle part of the night passes uneventfully. Ralph. Morning dawns anew. Good. The shadow of the mountain falls over the forest ahead of you, but you can see a shadow so you know Dawn is a coming. Everybody will need to make an acrobatics check, or I'm sorry, athletics check to get down to the floor of the valley. Oh, yeah. 23. You rolled an eight. No, let me do my own roll. Then get over here. Quit messing with that cat. Put the cat down. I feel like either way, you're getting to the bottom of this valley. We're missing somebody. That way might be even faster. All right. Hold on a second. Somebody walked away. Yeah, roll for him. Fumble that roll. I'm going to. Oh, I'm going to roll the red dice for him if he's not I'll, careful. I'll, I'll roll. Mm -hmm. oh. So how do you do? I'll let somebody else on the party roll for him. <laughs> Which is probably accurate. I right, Gornak the Mighty. Here he is. He better roll. What's he quick. rolling again? Is athletics? He's yeah, got yeah. good at athletics. Yeah. He rolled a dirty yeah. 20. Okay. Sophie, roll your athletics, honey. Athletics. Under A, where athletics is. <clears throat> hey, that's a six. Good. That's worse. Somebody's doing cartwheels down the hill. Whee! Don't worry, Frankie. I rolled your fumble for you. Ronald, oh, thank you. Bartum. At least I don't have to. Uh, 15 for me. Okay. Barnum. Uh, I rolled a. I don't remember what the hell I rolled. Oh, here's my. Well, sounds like you got to re roll the. Oh, I had a dirty 20. 30 okay. 20. Uh, that time I rolled a natural 20. Feel bad news. Uh, you don't do so well. Roll a straight up d20. If you roll a one or a two, you get a scar. And. You are also going to take eight hit points <laughs> as you hit Damn. most of the rocks you. down the trail. Oh my god! Oh wait, you rolled down Damn. the hill. Now, now roll the d twenty. Let's see if uh, you scar yourself. Right here. Oh great! I don't agree. To, I don't agree to this. Let's see if you hurt your pretty face. <laughs> oh. Yeah, sixteen. Sixteen. I probably do. Safe. You're safe. Oh! Damage. <laughs> you guys are at the bottom of the hill. You're in a small valley. It's a wooded valley. You lose your charisma. Uh, you are kind of familiar with the area. Uh, who's doing the uh, marching? I'll need a survival from them. Okay, hey. Leon. Who, who said me? Gornak, you want to lead? Oh, of course. Go. Or I got to roll Gornak. You got to roll survival. survival. Let's do it. You guys are going to dirty twenty. Ooh, nice! Wow. wow. <laughs> After wow. what seems like half a day, wow. uh, you begin to question Gornak's ability, uh, and there is some scuttlebutt that he couldn't find his butt with both hands in a pool. But uh, just as the <laughs> questions mount, Gornak finds the trail. He finds the road and he sees the sign that says Insit, that way. Uh, the half-elf, thank you, Jeebus Crisp. What? Uh, yeah, so long. Right, I guess. Jesus, Harold Christ. He's not paying me. I don't give a shit. Bye. Uh, he's got to get into Yitz. 
Uh, That's yeah. where his money's uh, at. Uh, Ralph, we don't know anything about this deal. He made it with Barnum. Right, I know. That's why I'm like, all right, see ya. Yeah, same here. Hey, Later. I'm not going to Yitz. I'm going to Yentz. I'm, I'm, why? I, I made a deal to walk him to Yentz. Now, right yeah. there it is. He can walk himself. Come on. As, got as caravan guards, you guys have been to Yentz, and each of you have a fair amount of ideas here. Ralph uh, is going to have a uh, liaison individual, probably looking for him. Uh, Leon, you have your favorite eating establishment. Gornak, you have your favorite armor set. Uh, Beal, uh, you got nothing. You got no. You got no that's, reason. That's because he there. doesn't like nah. whatever Ralph the hell. has his favorite. Whatever Asimar, you are, yeah, <laughs> nobody likes. Nobody likes Asimar. Uh And Barnum, you have a job to do. So uh, now you guys don't All have right. to go to Yints. You have not been oh, thrown no, out of no. Yints. What? Well, now not that yet. you said it, I've you got a say. favorite. I'm I'm all up for going in there and getting a hot meal. This liaison that I how big is today? Female liaison or The lady is the previous one. But what is lia is liaison the same size as the previous one? His liaison? Yeah, same size as the previous one. Uh, 12. 12 charisma on this one. I mean, we have been in that cave a long time. You know, there's not many even dwarf, less pretty than me. Not many dwarf men that you know make it to a 12. All right, let's go. We'll go. Yeah. Uh, you guys travel. Uh, yeah. the, the doors are similar as the last town. Uh, you guys are spotted. You are recognized. Uh, and the gates open uh, without delay. You guys are allowed in. Uh, the half-elf Barnum, he tells you, uh, follow me, kind sir. I will get you that reward. Uh, you guys travel into Yints. And uh, you guys are coming in from the south gate, which is when I find my freaking cursor. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yeah, Here. So, many times. Uh, so as you guys come in, Barnum, you will be taken over here somewhere. Uh, the gold buildings are government. Uh, this is the leader of the Garnet Inc. establishment. This is the stronghold of Garnet Inc. Uh, and this is the barracks of Garnet Inc. Uh, let's see, Ralph, your liaison is in uh, this area right here. Yep, I was gonna say, it looks like all my places are colored pink. Yeah, uh, and the libations uh, is uh, over here, and you can't see that at all. <laughs> kind of. Uh, there, and the armor smith is uh, oh here. So two of you will be going in the same direction. Uh, one of you will not. This one does not count right here. Uh, so, I want to stop at the pawn shop and sell these silversmith tools. Sure. Uh, we will start with Leon. Uh, D100 against me. Oh, man. I don't think I'm not going to roll them anymore. 54 for me. I think I rolled 100. Double zeros? A, triple zeros? Yeah. I, well, it's, I got a 10 and a 10. <clears throat> uh, that's an 11. Is that 11? All right, I rolled 11. No, uh, this dice don't have 100 on it. It goes... Two zeros and a zero. That's oh, I got Yeah, I got you. I got you. <clears throat> I told you. It. I'm it's not used well. to rolling these damn things. Uh, he, can't give you 11. Full he can't give you full price, <clears throat> but he's willing to give you uh, 175. I'll take it. Uh, D12 against me. Ooh, 12. Ooh, 12. Roll it again. Re roll. Ghost. 11. Leon gets information. Beal, uh, what do you want to do since you got nothing here? 
Um, you gonna follow somebody? You gonna... I want. I want to go to uh, somewhere the red, a food or drink area. Sure. By yourself. By myself. By yourself. By myself. Uh, Does want to go with me? I've got to go follow this guy to his destination. Cheese boy's going with somebody else. Um, I just now, said I can now, follow this guy. Cheese boy. Barnum is going this way, and you know this place has got uh, fish. Fresh fish. You haven't Ooh. seen a river in weeks. <laughs> <laughs> it's cave fish. That's right. Ugh. Did you want to go in there by yourself? I heard the pink places have fresh fish, too. Pink places? <laughs> it's I, fish. <laughs> I, will, I will refrain. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to let that one pass. That shall pass. Um, <laughs> Where are you going, Soph? Just follow me. <laughs> I want... No, fine, I'm uh, following Chief Boy. Okay. Then hurry up. She's following me. Following Chief Boy. Fair enough. Uh, Barnum and Beal, no opportunity. Ralph, what you doing? Gonna oh, I lady? left long ago while they were dicking around trying to figure out where they're going. There was like a Ralph-shaped dust cloud. As I made it off to the like a cartoon, yes, it was like a cartoon. As I made it off it, to my it, liaison, go get his beard combed, whatever you want to call it. Yes, are you going to one of the fisheries? Uh, he goes to the good and plenty to find his girl, Pollux Sorrel. Pollux, that's a fish, Pollux, P O L L E X. So multiple pollock. So you, are, you are at the good and plenty. Strangely, Rolf, uh, they recognize you. <laughs> you don't say. And they ask if no, you're here for true. Pollux or somebody else. Well, I, th- I have a feeling they recognize you no matter which character you're wearing. It's funny. That's <laughs> probably true. <laughs> which character I'm wearing? You yeah. <laughs> you put on a skin suit every time you want to play. <laughs> yes, I was, I was here looking for Pollux. Uh, D12 against me. Oh, boy. He's here looking for Pollux. Eleven. Damn it, Pollux. Uh, she's busy with a customer. It'll be a few minutes. British. I don't necessarily want to wait, because I... Never mind. Yeah. I... You can barge in if you'd like. Oh, no, 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 no. I, no, no. What else? Is anybody else available? Oh, sure. Well, madam, line There's up. Nancy. Reagan. Uh, Tartley Simmons is available. Uh, is there anybody else available? <laughs> so you know what I rolled. Uh, I saw it on your face, and with a name like Tartley Simmons, come on. Do we have, like, Madison or anybody from the last campaign? Yeah, he's uh, available. <laughs> yeah. Me. Uh, Ashley spelled really stupidly. Yes. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, Ashley. That's, that's, it, it's Ashley. only. It's only Ashley. It's like share. So it's only. Ah, uh, yes. It is Ashley. In you window. I uh, will change. Ashley is available, but she, as you well know, is quite expensive. That is quite all right. I have come back from the cave with riches beyond. I mean, I, that's okay. Riches and a order. smell. <laughs> there, is, there is kind of an aroma. Yeah. I would take a dip and... in something. Perhaps I, could I inquire about the bathhouse first? Uh, uh, D12? Oh, man. No, no. Two. We roll. Burn it up. I got rolls. Five. Uh, yes, one of the stalls is available. Perfect. I will make my way to that stall first. How much are you charge me? That's uh, not the bath stall. That's the pooper. That's uh. <laughs> there's a hole in the side of it. Uh, there's ah. a, uh, two gold. About two gold. Yes, that's fine ah. here. There are three Rose servants bell. there to. Uh, Rub you down. You know, no okay. self-respecting dwarf would be doing that. <laughs> Going to the bath bathhouse? Yeah. Well, I don't think it's very self-respecting. The only time they get a bath when they're caught in the rain. 
A real mountain dwarf, anyhow. Yeah, I told you he was a hill dwarf. Oh, I am a city dwarf. Can't you tell? Uh, uh, yeah. Ralph, the, the dude next to you is also a uh, gnome, and he introduces <laughs> himself as Major League. Uh, and he's just fresh off the trail. He's like yes. Major Garrett from CES. <laughs> well, you know, my friend, I'd be careful with all those coins. You never know how they can disappear. He goes, for my money, you know, I like uh, to carry around more portable wealth, like gems. Are you interested in a trade while we go ahead and get our flesh fixed? I don't like how I said flesh fixed. Don't trust him. I don't trust him either. I... <laughs> he says funny words. I don't trust him. Give me yeah, an insight so I... roll. Give me an insight roll, Ralph. It's funny man and his funny words. I don't trust it. Natural 20. Well, he makes good sense because carrying around all those coins, uh, you know, maybe maybe trading for some gemstones isn't a bad idea. It, it, it's not a bad idea. But, yeah. you know, you can trust your gut. This guy, uh, you know, I mean, he's naked in the bath next to you. I mean, Gotta be trustworthy. trustworthy. Is that? Yeah. Has yeah, no I mean, paperwork on him at all. I don't know how many. Yeah, I guess I guess I could part with some of these coins to try color up, if you will. Sure. How much yeah. do you want to trade? <laughs> I guess it depends on how many coins I got on me. I think I've got about uh, about forty. Forty? He'll give you. Uh, he'll give you eight gems. So uh, five gold piece gems. Give you eight of them. I don't know. I'm looking for something more than that because then I still have to keep track of five gems. And, you know, 40 gold pieces, it's a lot more liquid than gems because I can't really barter with gems. I got two 20 gold pieces. Mm, yeah, that'll work. Okay. Uh, he gives you two 20 gold piece gems. How those slug taste? Gornak! Are you going to your uh, favorite Shield Smith? I will. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah, it's like cheers. Uh, he greets you warmly. Uh, his name is Atticus Finch. Uh, Atticus, hello. I am uh, he looks at you and says, You look like you got the shit beat out of you, my friend. Well, I did. Ah, with me. That uh, happens a lot. Uh, you need me to fix your armor, or are you looking to upgrade? Uh, I think just a quick. I think it'll. I think just a quick polishing. I think that would help. Just, just a, like it'll buff out like this area back here, but it's like melted away. I think it'll just buff out. Uh, sure. Uh, cost you about five gold pieces, my friend. I'll get that buffed out for you. Ah, uh, perfect. I will give him the gold. Uh, he is happy to do so. Uh, and he mentions, uh, hey, have you heard about the extortionists we have in town? No, I have not. Tell me more. Uh, there seems to be a group of individuals shaking down the local businesses. I, of course, am immune because they know they'll get old lightning and thunder. Mm, it doesn't cause guess. me any grief. Uh, but yeah, be on the lookout. There's, there's a group uh, called uh, the Orphans. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> that makes me. Oh. That makes me. All right, let's. I'll make sure to keep an eye out. Uh, as uh, you're getting buffed out, uh, Leon, uh, the half elf uh, goes into his office, tells you to wait outside, comes back with a hundred gold pieces, uh, and he has a servant that is attending to him, uh, and they whisper amongst each other. Uh, and he kind of gives you the side eye. 175 gold pieces, you mean? Yes, 175. My apologies. Yes, thank you. Uh, and information for me? Uh, he warns you. He goes, now, these are gold pieces. Uh, I would give you gemstones, but it seems as though uh, we have a fake gem dealer in town. Mm. <laughs> how many how much savings did you jump into that <laughs> I'm only 40. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Uh, that's all 
all right. I like I like the real gold. <laughs> oh, poor AJ. No, this is, uh, <laughs> I should have seen it coming. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. I got a natural 20 on the insight. The anything, DM led me wrong. You got no, anything? No, he's uh, right. I mean, it's way easier to carry gems than it is coins. Yeah, it is. He That's why you never trust a confidence man. Uh, oh, so he, he, he warns you about this. Uh, <laughs> you know. uh, over to Barnum and Beal. Uh, what, what well, you before doing? you before you leave me with uh -huh. this guy, does he have you got any uh, anything in here that might be beneficial? You know, I got poisoned by a wyvern while I was. So you don't have anything uh, of a magical nature here that would. Uh, Help prevent I, those kind of things, would you? I have an old uh, elixir from my uh, Meemaw, uh, but I I hastened to part with it for less than a hundred gold. What kind of elixir? Uh, it cures toxins, especially hangovers. Yeah, no, nah, I was looking more for you know, like a ring or something that would help prevent poisoning and such. You know, more of a magical nature. You know, that'd be over at the pawn shop, I think. Isn't that where I'm at? Oh, I'm sorry. That's right. Wait a minute. You don't get the 175. What did you get? You I went, get to, to, you went, I went to, the to the pawn shop. shop and sold him my silversmith's tools for 175. Yes. For 175. yes. yes. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I got you guys confused. D12 against me. No, I, I get us confused too. Double ones, 11. I got a six. Uh, no, I used to have one. Uh, I sold it to a gnome. Um, ah. I think he's in the military. His name is Major or something. Major Payne? Could be Major Payne. Come on. All right. Well, I appreciate it anyways. He uh, paid handsomely to, with these which, gems. Which way to the weapons shop? Uh, you are over in the green here. Right down here, yep. Uh, across the street. It's across the street there or over there? I'll go across the street then. Okay, fair enough. Uh, you can go in there. Uh, they do not care for you. Uh, they have heard stories because I rolled a nat one. Uh, mm. And point out, I thought you got canned. Canned? Yeah. Nah, I'll turn around and leave. I'll just head to the other one. I'm not going to Barnum and Beal, uh, you arrive at the half elf's location. He goes ahead and gives you the money. He thanks you very much uh, for your. That was the one seventy five, right? Uh, no, you got a hundred. Leon got one seventy five for the um, tools. You got a hundred for saving his life. That's fine. I'll give Beal twenty five. You, you could have uh, had two hundred, but. Uh, Leon shot the other guy. Oh, it, you could have had 150 extra, but Leon shot the other guy, and Gornak killed the two guards. <laughs> he could have had nothing because I was about ready to kill that half elf. Yeah, that's true. Uh, so Barnum and Beal, where would you guys like to go next? Are we located uh, at? Oh, we're located where? Right here. Right there. And so the this the pink right below that mm -hmm. is that lavender. Or that's pink. Uh, this is pink. This is lavender. Okay, so that's real estate opportunity, and this one way over here, real estate opportunity. What does this area look like? Nice, very nice. All right, scale. What's this uh, real estate opportunity? Uh, it appears to be a two-door style, two-story home. Uh, it has wrought iron gates, and it is immaculately. Uh, maintained. It's going to be a little bit pricey. What's pricey? Uh, about 600 gold. That's uh, not The bad. realtor is there uh, with flyers. It is a gnome. Uh, she appears to be moderately well-dressed. Uh, she has a yellow coat on. Well, I'll talk to her. Her name is Century. I'll tell her I can give her 450 gold right now. She walks out the door and leaves it to my name. Oh, I don't think the owner would accept that. D12 against me. Three. 
Seven. I can talk to the outer, but uh, what, what is your offer again? 450. I, you know, I honestly don't think they'll go for it, but I will ask. Okay. About this time, a guy in a stovepipe hat comes up uh, wearing a monocle. Uh, hello, I am with Garnet Inc. Uh, I would like to purchase this property. He's a little bit on the portly side wearing black trousers and a black overcoat with brass buttons. And yes, it is the Monopoly man. Oh my God. I knew it. Mr. Monopoly? <laughs> we ran it to childhood. How much are you offering? Mm, I'm not sure I can pay the full amount. I think I could possibly procure maybe 475 or 500 gold pieces sure, of funding this real estate location. You, any points to odd even? Even points at you, Barnum. Fetch my belongings, son. You'll be handsomely rewarded with this gold coin. Where is your belongings at? They're right over there on that mule. I'm going to go grab his belongings and throw them in the uh, shit dump or creek that runs through the town. Uh, no shit creek here. Oh, hey. okay. Well, I'll just go out and smack the donkey right on the ass and send it hollering. Cool. That'll work. I'm going to run in and say, hey, your donkey's taking off. Nice, nice. Rolf, uh, Ashley is available, but you got to pay for her. That's why I'm here. You got to use the gems? Sure. Give me persuasion. How much... Uh, my character doesn't realize that these gems are may or may not be fake yet. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. How much you, is this going to cost me? Uh, well, your girl, uh, what's her name? Pollux, uh, is free, uh, close personal, close personal, intimate friend. Uh, Ashley is a little bit on the expensive side. This is this being a boom town with gems, uh, she's going to go at a rate of 20 gold pieces. Oh, perfect. Uh, what a coincidence. All right, let's do it. Give me a deception roll as the madam takes the gem. 14. Six. She accepts payment. Uh, you may... You... Is the world falling down? What's going on over there? Yes, I'm not sure. Uh, she accepts payment. Ashley has a charisma of 18. All right. Almost as pretty as me. Yeah, but <laughs> that sounds more like a 40 gold piece right there. Uh, yeah, but that name, just the way it's spelled, it just really detracts from her. A S H L E I G H. <clears throat> That's how a, I wrote it down. Give me a D4, Rolf. Mm -hmm. Four. Four hours of intense, intimate behavior will occur. Give me a constitution save. Oh, I have no mouth. Nine. <laughs> You'll need to shop for a comb. <laughs> Gornak the Mighty, uh, as... <laughs> As, as your armor is getting <laughs> out. You want me to roll for you next time? Oh, no. <laughs> I feel like a nine is better than what you would have rolled for me. I roll eight. a one. You have eight. You have HPV like 12. <laughs> they don't even have a letter grid anymore. They went to a number system because of how many you have. Gornak, uh, as the armor is buffing out uh, your damage, uh, he points out, hey, did you hear the good news? Uh, no, what's the good news? Why, Hamish uh, has saved Garnet Inc. Really? Yeah. Apparently some uh, bandits attempted to hijack a well-armored convoy, uh, and their planning was quite precise. But uh, Hamish 
uh, seemed to come around at the last minute, uh, somewhat disgruntled at his firing, uh, but managed to fight off the bandits. He is to be uh, awarded a position in Garnet Inc. and has Who's received him? a big reward. Who's Hamish again? Was him? I forget. Hamish was the legendary guard uh, that got canned. You guys ran across this. The one that had the camp that was planned that planned that whole freaking robbery. He turned ah. on everybody. Okay. Yeah, it was a setup from the start. Now you don't know that. You guys are jumping to conclusions. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, Gornak, it takes about an hour to buff out your dents. Uh, after that, what would you like to do? I guess I'll take a walk around. Maybe if I spot something interesting, go and walk over to it. Well, now right across from your place is the uh, barracks where all the new guards are hanging out. I'll go walk over there. <laughs> sure. Say hello. They recognize you. Friendly wave. Ask rah, you about. Rah, 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 rah. Did you hear about Hamish? Rah, rah, rah. Uh, yes. Well, I was getting my iron polished. I heard about him. Well, uh, thank you for the personal notation. Uh, I just got to tell you about my life and talk about me first, and then you uh, can go. Oh, okay. That seems more like a Rolf thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, they, they go ahead and explain that Hamish was just wandering along the road, and uh, all of these things happened, and uh, Hamish is once again a hero. He is truly a guard of legendary status. Ah, I bet. I, I, would, I would infer that he is and say, well, good day to you, fair sirs, and then walk inside the building. Uh, just before you walk inside the building, you hear the brain of an out-of-control mule and the screams of citizens as they attempt to dodge said mule that is hopping along, kicking at people. Give am me... I, am give I me not yet. Give me an uh, acrobatics check to make sure that you dive in and avoid getting kicked in the face by the mule. Or better yet, kicked in the arm oh, by the God. mule. Oh, God. For a second, I slammed my desk. For a second, I thought that was a one. It was a seven. I got a nine. More rack. Uh, you get uh, butt stumped into the building, but you suffer no damage. Uh, okay. Rolf, give me a performance check as there is some kind of cacophony of noise outside. And uh, eh, you notice, but you continue on with the duties that you have uh, applied your wares for. Uh, Leon, uh, where were you? you were I was there. heading over to another uh, weapon shop. Uh, same one as his, or did you want to go north? Up I can go here. north to that one, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, they recognize you. And they're happy to see you. Huh? Oh! Hey! Leon, how you doing? I'm doing well. Doing well. Did you hear about Hamish? Who? Hamish. What about Hamish? Uh, Hamish. Did, don't tell me he, got, he didn't get killed or get caught, did he? Killed or caught? No, he he saved the he saved the caravan. Hamish? Yeah. Yeah. Tell, tell me about this saved the caravan stuff. Well, he uh, he goes in and he goes, you know, the information's sketchy at this point in time, but it turns out that he was just wandering along the road and he saw a caravan under attack, a pretty well uh, planned out attack, and uh, turns out that uh, he managed to. Uh, defeat the bandits uh, and save the day. I'm just going to chuckle and tell him, I said, no, I didn't hear that. Yeah. He, he's, do, he's due in town tomorrow to receive his reward. Oh, good. I'd like to see old Hamish. In the meantime, I might as well get my uh, axes sharpened up sure. while I'm here oh. and we'll chit chat a little bit. He'll I don't do want that. the gossip is. Or two gold pieces. Uh, right. you'll, fi you'll find out that uh, there's a group called the Orphans, and they've been shaking down businesses. What are, what are these orphans? What, what are we talking about? Uh, they're just a puny street gang. Uh, 
not shaking down you, are they? No, 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 they're, they're, they're nothing to be troublesome about a new group in town. Probably nothing. Besides they're working the, they're, they're working the North side over here. Yeah. They'll get okay. caught. The magistrate, Sooner or later. Yeah. The magistrates already put a bounty on their head. Oh, really? How much? 50 gold pieces for their leader. Uh huh. How much for the rest of them? Ten each. Yep. Okay. But you know, you're you're a big time hero. You don't need that kind of money. You know, any money's good money. Well, that's true. Yeah, somebody named Beaver Cleaver. <laughs> I heard about him. Homely little sucker, isn't he? Yeah, and he's got some buddy named Wally, apparently. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Yeah. But he he and his group of orphans uh, uh, God only knows what they're doing. Know where they hang? Uh, you know where they hang out at? Yeah, somewhere on the north side of town. Okay. Hey, whatever happened to that Gornak, that ugly fellow you used to hang around with? Oh, he's still around. He's still around. He's down. He's went to get his armor polished. Well, I see he's using a competitor of mine. Tell yeah, it looks thanks. that way. Yeah, I will. I'll definitely give him your. Give him your word, man. Hey, and by the way, uh, is, is Ralph still seeing Pollux? <sighs> he went heading up that way. I'm assuming he's hoping she's still here. Well, she's still here, seemed, but I seem like a waste of money to me. I hear she's getting married. Oh, to who? Oh, to one of the Garnet uh, Ink guys, one of them new guys. One where's the new a, where's guys, a huh? funny hat? Where's a funny hat, too? Um, Wouldn't be a major somebody, would it? Not a clue what his name is. Yeah, okay. Well, I'll pass that word on to Ralph when I see him next. Sure. You got anything new in here? D12 against me. Yeah, 10. Uh, that's rolled. what I rolled. 12. Two. Uh, yeah, I got this dagger here. Anything special about it? Oh, it's got this cool mermaid handle on it. Damn it. Huh. Man, that's pretty, too. How much you want for it? Uh, is, that, is that silver? Is that silver? Is silver? silver? Yeah, it is. Persuasion. Man, I like that. Persuasion? I don't have much persuasion. Oh, I do. Plus three. Calm me down. Uh, shit, that's a 21. Well, you know what? I hate to part with it because it's so pretty, but I'll give it to you for 75. I'll take it. Okay. It's a mermaid dagger. That's more than Felix paid for it a few seasons ago. I about to say, uh, why does the mermaid dagger keep appearing in this game everywhere? Because somebody, <laughs> some kind of cause, cause, cause somebody mentioned it a little while ago. That's oh, right. That's <laughs> somebody wanted it, and he ain't the one there. <laughs> yep. He's the one. Uh, you know what, uh, Leon? You also noticed that there is a, uh, a fish comb. <laughs> a fish oh, comb. Come on. You know, that, that would be – I could use that. How much for the comb? Yeah, you know, you ought to throw that in. I bought the dagger. You ought to just throw that comb in. That, I need to work these knots out of my mane. You know what? Give me five gold pieces of yours. Thank you. I'll take it. All right. It's a real short comb. <laughs> it's, it, it's, perfect. It, it's fish head and fish head. Does he have gold dice with silver pips in there, too? Did Felix get killed and then the, the body got looted <laughs> in this pawn shop? Leon, do you want to look for dice? Don't look for dice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I will. The answer is yes. Felix yeah. said somewhere. Dice? How much for the dice? Uh, the dice aren't for sale. Oh, man, that's I too bad. I saw a zonkey out back. How much for that zonkey? <laughs> you, you mean old uh, buttercup? <laughs> yeah. hey, you, know, you know, I might be wrong, but I hear they're good eating. There, there's no zonky down here. <laughs> <laughs> just quit. Right. Well, uh, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm going to wait around till my axes are done. Sure. And then uh, uh, then I'll head out. Barnum and Beal, what you want to do? Uh, what'd that guy do when that donkey took off? 
uh, the mule. Yeah. Uh, he, he started chasing him. I'm going to go in and shut the door and say, listen, let's just wrap this up. How much for the place? 600? 600. I tell you what, I'll give you 700. Is it furnished right now? It is furnished. It is furnished. Is that 600 with the furnishings? It is not. Okay, I'll give you an extra 100 for the furnishings. Be 12 against me. Okay. Dang. I don't want this. Dealing in the big bucks. Nine. No, nope. three. You suck. Uh, oh, you're awful. 150. We'll throw in all the furnishings. All right, 150. So we're at what? 750? 750. Where's the paperwork? Let's finish. Damn. Uh, the realtor century spins Beal around, puts the paperwork on her back, uh, and that inks works. it. Let me go. Here. Yeah, ac accidentally stabs the pen through. Yeah. Oh. Hits her in the back. Lovely. Guy I had to quit, sell some quit, of that wig. Him ideas. That, so Beal ends up with a tattoo. Yeah. 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 No. I, I just I just bought a base of operations. That is true. Why, why did we yep. buy a base of operations? Because I had thirteen hundred gold in my pocket. Which wait, I still like every ten gold pieces is a pound. I was still under my carrying capacity, but that's a lot of gold to haul around. And there's no yep. bank here. You know what you need? You need gems. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's all right. A good idea. <laughs> uh, I'll, just, I'll invest in real estate opportunity, and now I can start working my. Uh, come on, invest in this virtual money. I'm going to invest in some. Uh, the they're going to call me uh, Ward. They're going to call you something. Uh, they they want you to invest in Spitcoin. No. Speaking of Spitcoin, Ralph, uh, you are. Tired. <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, you meander out into the uh, main venue area uh, filled with plush couches and chairs, and you see a guy wearing a strange hat, wearing black pants and a black overcoat. Uh, and he is asking for Pollux. Look, he's asking for fish. Uh, is he asking me for Pollux, or is he just asking it to the yeah, he's asking Brian, Adam. You know, I happen to be with an earshot. Correct. I assume I'm going to be like sitting down in a chair in the waiting area. And probably maybe I'll... canting. Yeah, probably, yes. Ooh, scratch no. so, got a little scratch. I might uh, comment on his hat and say, that's a fancy hat you got there. Where'd you get a hat like that? Uh, I, I got it. Uh... Eh, crap, I don't have that map up. Uh, it's one of the other towns on the circuit. Wait a second. Hold on. Uh, out of character. Is this Major League? Is this it the is guy not, Major League? It is not Major League. Okay. Okay. I was going to say, because I already interacted with him. He sold me the gems. Anyway, Correct. back okay. in character. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's a fancy hat. It is a fancy hat. Would you be interested in parting with it? Uh, I would not. Okay. All right. Well, have fun with the uh, Pollock. Wow, I uh, missed I missed chat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's okay. Fair enough. Gordak the Mighty. Uh, you find yourself in the barracks. Uh, one of the toadies that you actually trained comes up and goes. What are you doing here? You were expelled. Oh, really? I am just a wandering. Oh, I am just a traveler, but this is buying. I'm just, I'm just here to get, I'm just here to pulp, like sharpen, and maybe buy. That's it. <laughs> nothing more, nothing less. Uh, he points out to the toadies, pay no attention to this guy. He couldn't cut it in this job. Mm, okay. Well, I'm still a little a bit confused, so I don't care that much. So I'm just going to be like, eh, all right, and then go up to the um, merchant or whoever's selling. Then you just ask if I can get my like wep my battle axe sharpened because all I've been hitting today is rocks. Uh, are you going to go back to the other place? Uh, is there like a waiting room in here, or do I just kind of like stand around and look at things? Uh, you can walk right in, D12 against me. 
I will. Go. I'll roll my regular dice. Eight. Let's see if I can roll real dice. Real die. That's a four. I cannot roll real dice. Um, <laughs> you using your tower? Yes. Almost. Maybe you should use the shoe. <laughs> I might want to. Uh, At this point, I might just throw them off the wall and see if they land on anything. You know what? Get a hamster ball so that it never actually stops. Like one of those bingo it. things, you know? Yeah. Uh, B3. There is a waiting uh, room now. You got to, uh, let's see. The wait for you is going to be two hours. Two hours? I'm not waiting in there for two hours. I'm going out. Yeah, you do know two other places where you can get your blade sharpened. Three, uh, if you ask Ralph. <laughs> I I guess I'll just take my. Did I already give it to him, or did I like? No, did I, like, ask him? All right, I just asked him to wait. I'm at the law. Where am I at currently? Which you're which here. Shop? I'm right there. All Where's right. This one. I guess uh, they're all very spread apart. Okay. I guess I'll go to the next all, one. All, all, almost like on a major road for some reason. Yeah. yeah. So do you want to go to this one or this one? I'll go. I'll go to the south end. That's uh, D12 against me. I will D12 with electronic dice and see if that helps. But the dice aren't real. They do help. That was a ten. Oh uh, yeah, there's no weight here. Uh, does good. this guy like you? This guy does not like you. He didn't ah. like me either. Don't oh. feel bad. I don't like you either. Dornak, nice to see you again. Falling on hard times, ready to sell your axe? No, I'm not. I'm actually doing fantastic. Look at me now. I've gotten a polish. Look at this. I once had a scarf, but since I've been battling and so many monsters and winning all the fights, I just... I haven't, I haven't seen off. anybody get polished like that since the last time I was with Pollux. <laughs> All right, that's great for you. Um, <laughs> hope you had fun with that one. Uh, well, I just need this axe sharpened since I've been hitting so many things. Sure, I've uh, probably been missing a lot too, eh there, uh, Gornak? No, I'm just fine. It cost you five gold pieces. <laughs> I don't care at this point. Just take my money. Uh, be, give me about an hour. So he, he fires up the whetstone with his foot. He's like, so where you been? Ah, uh, you know, just around. I was in a cave, and I went out of the cave, and now I'm here. That would explain the smell. Have you yep. ever thought about taking a bath? Not really, no. Uh -huh. <laughs> I wouldn't expect. Do you know a good nail place I can get my nails done? Sharpened, maybe? Uh, I thought you said a male place. I was going to nope. say you were Pollux uh, works out. But, <laughs> uh, a nail, you mean the beautician? Wait, what? <laughs> yes, a beautician. I'll give you a beautician nails, right there next to done. the uh, purple. All right, well, well, since it's close, I guess I'll go check it out. I just wanted to get them nice and clean, nice and like sharpened. If I want to do some. Uh, yeah. Do you want yeah. to leave your axe there? Yeah, well, he is sharpening it, so I was guess I was guess he's just gonna leave it there. Yeah, hopefully he doesn't sell it. Sure. Yeah. Why would he sell it? He seems like an honest bloke. Yep. Uh, doesn't uh, like you wander off to the beautician and you find two human ladies uh, taking right. care of gnomish ladies. Uh, the human ladies have beehive haircuts similar to Marge Simpson. Uh, uh, and they, la la. Talk, they talk with a very strange, almost joysy esque accent. Joysy. <laughs> and they point out that their husbands are in the import-export business. Well, I'll say um, I'm here to get my nails cleaned and sharpened, if you could do that for me. Do you love against me? I will. Nat 20 for Frankie. On a D12. <laughs> That's 12. It's 12. How about that? Uh, Madge will be able to take care of you. Madge. Almost so close to Marge. Madge oh. is off an old TV commercial. Oh, is it? Yep. Well, I wouldn't know. Yep. It was in black and white for the most yes, part. Yes, it was. Oh, wow. 
Wow. Um, don't say it like that. <laughs> You'll make me feel like Frank. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you are Frank. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Everyone. Uh, it's like Frank, 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 Frank. Right. Uh, we will end this session with Leon. What uh, what else would you like to do in town? Um, I'm going to head up to the other pawn shop. Oh, my gosh. The green one? Uh, yep. There may be an axe for sale at the weapon shop. <laughs> yeah, maybe. There, there ain't no may about it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you are at the pawn shop. You notice that there is a, they are building a uh, kind of a stage right here in front of the uh, Garnet mm -hmm. Inc. building. Oh, that's probably for that big award. <laughs> hey, for Hamish. Yeah. I'm going to head on into the pawn shop and uh, look around. You notice a well groomed gnome is present. He is currently haggling. Over uh, some snuff boxes, tobacco, oh, of, uh, liquor, and drink. Nope. Uh, that, that, no. that that would be at the libation. I'm gonna ask the proprietor what they have in the way of. Whoa, whoa, uh, whoa, 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 my good friend here. I am conducting business. Please wait your turn. Oh, sorry, I didn't notice the little fellow standing there. Uh, he concludes his business and he hands over a couple of gemstones and points out finest gemstones in the land, my friend. Just ask Ralph. The proprietor takes a look at it. <laughs> Very good. Uh, he turns around and looks at you, Leon, and he goes, well, aren't you well healed? I can hear by the way your coins jingle jangle that you are loaded down. You, my friend, are in need of gems. Portable wealth is what I call it. Are you interested? Nope. Well, that was rude. Well, you you asked the question. I gave you an answer. Uh, he walks out. Uh, what would you like? I'm uh, looking for... Uh, I just want to see if you had anything uh, along the line of a, a magical AIDS that I could use in my adventure. You want AIDS? Uh, yeah, not that well, kind of well, I know a place down the road. I am not yeah. going over to see Polly. Pollux might be able to help you with that. <laughs> uh, you know, like uh, anything to give me a plus here or there or, or give help? Me, give me. V12 against me. Oh, 11. Hell, I can't find it. Oh, I'm looking at you. 11. Reroll? This time I got a seven. This time I got a three. Uh, you know, I got a ring. Uh, I'm getting mixed signals on it, though. I, I had one of the mages take a look at it, and uh, they aren't sure if it's good or bad. What's it do? <laughs> well, he, he, he says it's kind of a protection against certain creatures, but not so much against others. Mm. Yeah, that's not really what I was looking for. Okay. Okay. Anything else? Not magical. Okay. I got this cool baby doll if you got kids. Oh, hell no. <laughs> no, no baby dolls here, bud. <laughs> you know what? Right, I am. It, its name is Annabelle. No, you it's a, that same doll that was in that other stupid game. I ain't touching that thing. You coward. We lost in the water. Oh, you didn't lose it. <laughs> Trust me, that thing is not lost. Uh -uh. You will see that uh -uh. thing again. Oh, uh, yeah. Folks, this looks like a good spot to stop because it's dinner time for them and they need to find lodging. Oh, they do not need to find lodging. No, uh, Barnum has already lodging. taken that. That's, that's true. Two of you don't need to. Uh, folks, this has been Murder Obo Inc., uh, the Bar Review Campaign. Thank you for joining us. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot shit about D&D, &D, join our Discord. If you want to be on the show at some point in time, mhobo Inc., Twitter or Gmail. Uh, don't forget, if you want some uh, custom dice, check out at Pirate Dog Dice. 
If you want to make sure that your game doesn't stink, try Adventure Sense from oddfishgames.com. Uh, Gornak the Mighty, what'd you think? <clears throat> You're muted, Gornak. Sorry, my I, I got my thousand yard stare going on. Sorry. I thought it was good. I thought my role sucked completely. What's uh, I, I, I'm sorry. Uh, so standard. This is yeah, usually. Yeah. Standard, like they always are. Sure. I had a few of them that were pretty decent. <clears throat> Only a few, though. Like, like three of them were pretty, were really good, and two of them were okay. But other than that, garbage, like they always are. Did we miss that? Uh, AJ, what'd you think? I had a good time. Right up until <coughs> Leon finds a mermaid dagger at the weapon shop. <laughs> Ooh, and don't forget the tiny. Man. And don't forget the tiny fish home. Oh yeah, tiny fish comb. All these possessions that were off of a different character of mine. I'm thinking that worlds may have collided, and Felix might not be in existence. Or that character is dead. Yeah, I would hope dead. that it's dead. We'll have to go back to the A side of the record to find out. Or when you roll with crooks, the crooks probably sold all your shit while you were sleeping. That's possible. Wasn't all that shit on the boat? Yeah, except for Buttercup. And that one's there. I don't think it was on the boat. That mermaid dagger was always on Felix. Ah, yeah, that's true. That's true. Wherever yeah. Felix was, that mermaid dagger was. Too. You know, it's hard hard to say how timelines interact here. I know, and I'm that's hoping true. it's like this, not like this. So in you this know, in this timeline, the lion got his shirt. Maybe uh, Felix hasn't found the mermaid dagger yet. That is possible. That's what we can only hope. I mean, if, if there is anybody who loves is this, this the time sequel travel conundrum, is this it's the my sequel? wife. Yeah. Prequel, Frankie. Prequel. Is this the sequel or yeah, prequel it would be? Uh, Middle Frank, what do you think? Middle Frank thinks it was good. I've enjoyed it. Uh, I, I enjoyed the ending there. I, I, I had to invest money. I had to look because I just kept on going. Well, if nobody's grabbing the gold, I'm grabbing pocket of gold. I was already ring, rattling and changling, so... I invested money in a place to store stuff. Now I just got to figure out uh, it's a point of operation. I just got to get some kind of security on this place. I you will you will need uh, Castilian or some other house manager. Uh, Sophia, what would you think? I thought it was fun and my role like, died at points. You, you may have uh, a familial curse. <laughs> Hand it down from your brother. Yep. Yeah. I was about to say, because your brother's got the bad rolls. Oh, yeah. yeah. Man. That is no joke. It doesn't matter what damn game he's playing either. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, you know what? I'm going to say it is definitely a family curse, because look at how your Uncle Jason was rolling that one time. Oh, you weren't there with us on that one. His, uh, his roll said... Well, I, I think uh, Frank Sr. keeps all the real rolls to himself. Frank Sr., what would you think? I don't let anybody use my dice either. Uh, why That's why. I've had those babies for, what, Frankie, since about 1980? I don't know. You guys started playing before me. Yeah. It's been a while. Hey, dice. Mm-mm. I, uh... They're probably brown. <laughs> no, they're actually black. Oh, I started uh, my brown awesome. dice. Yeah. Well, they're, they're kind of browned. Yeah, I still have those old brown dice that uh, the game came with. Yeah. Little tiny D20s. Mine were, I was from, I played Room Quest to start with. Mm-hmm. Before yes. I ever played D&D, we played y- y- Yisgarth and Room Quest. So, nice. Yeah. Yes, you're uh, happy with how ago. it turned out? Yeah, I am so far. I don't mind. There you go. Folks, uh, it is time for me to eat dinner in real life. So, uh, big kiss and wave, everybody. Uh, 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 uh,